Hey guys, got a fun tutorial for you. I'm gonna make it pretty quick. I made an add-on. I'm gonna give it away to everybody free. It's based on CG Matters' last two tutorials that he did on procedural materials. And based on those add-ons and those node groups, I actually made an add-on that will automatically, if you will, put all these procedural bricks on. It'll add the adaptive sub D for you with all the settings and append in a geometry nodes node tree where you can switch between two different materials as you see fit. Some things will work in here, some things will not. Most of it is gonna be based on 2D stuff and um, should work. And if it doesn't, you could remove this and just do a regular unwrap. But either way, it's pretty cool. I'll give the add away, uh, the add-on away free. So it'll be on my gum road. Just make sure to smash the like and subscribe to the channel and give me that five-star review on Gumroad. It really does help the channel out. So I do plan on doing this as a job at some point, making add-ons and all that cool stuff. So let's jump right in. And he did those on his procedural brick texture, which is right inside of Blender. Uh, super easy texture. So if you come in here and click new, and you just type in, this way you can hit shift A, S, and type in brick. And drop this in if you've got the node wrangler on you can just alt right click and or right mouse drag and it'll drop a nice brick texture on there for you okay and it's pretty basic right now there's not a whole lot on there but you can add the displacements and stuff like he did so based on his tutorial uh, two tutorials I actually created an add-on for you guys so you can have um, so what Go to go to cycles, turn on cycles, go to experimental. GPU compute will be helpful. And once you're under experimental, that's pretty much all you gotta do. You can come over to the modifier tab now and you'll see here in the end panel, all you gotta do is click to append in a node tree. Now this is the node tree he made and I just kind of upgraded it a little bit with some material uh, slots so you can add materials and do some beta testing on materials and you can switch between the two materials very quickly so after you've done that you can drop in the adaptive sub D that he was talking about but if you're not on experimental and you're not in cycles it's not going to come in correctly not incorrectly but incorrectly and what's going to happen is once you append in the procedural brick material and this is the material I made with all these funky nodes and noodles okay and that's not actually all of them there's a whole uv mapping set up as well and once you've got all that in there you will come down to material one and grab that and get 3ds material that's my material then you can grab a second material i'll be using red bricks for that and you see a scale is a little high on this but that's okay and if you've got Blender Kit, you can just go in here and pull up something. I just grabbed a little red brick here. Can't really see that. The uh, red bricks. And so now I can switch between these materials. Okay. And they're going to appear on the plane. Now this is almost purely 2D. So if you try putting it on 3D objects, it's not really going to work. So this would be really cool for a facade or just testing textures out. Um, so you'll see that the sub D comes in and it doesn't look like it came in the right way. I must have clicked it twice. Yeah, no, it came in good. So the sub D goes below it and that's going to display the texture correctly. Okay. And I know the scale is kind of high on this, but you can change all of that. So there's a couple things that you're going to want to do. One, namely, come down to the color ramp which i have coming in kind of the side and you can add some different colors to this and kind of spice it up just a little bit if you want make it look more brick like and maybe add in some yellows something like that okay maybe not that yellow something just a little hint and then kind of darken that down darken up darken down all right i went back and actually deleted that because I applied the scale to this when I scaled it up and that was an error so don't do that and I'll just put the red bricks back on and so here's the cool thing you switch between two materials very cool very fun so go back to adding in some color to this 
kind of liven it up. Looks a heck of a lot better. <laughs> okay, so you can add whatever you want. I would say keep it subtle, you know, so it's um, so it looks good. Now there's a couple of things you can do to kind of tweak this. You can come to the material tab if you want to to grab this stuff. You don't have to go there. You can just kind of scroll down. And one thing you will notice is that the preset that I put in here actually already puts it on displacement only for you. So you don't really have to do anything except for come in and play with the texture. So you can drop down under displacement and you'll have the brick texture, okay? And so you can kind of grab the bias, hold down shift and left mouse on the bias. You can change the bricks and how they look. It's super cool. You can kind of move them out just a little bit or move them in. And also, if you get it just right, uh, it'll change the color of the bricks and give you a nice offset, just like CG Matter had in his tutorial. Now, this does come in with a roughness of 8. I already preset all of that. Um, there's a few other things I preset. You feel free to change. I had to clean up a couple of nodes there. I had clicked the append button a couple too many times, but if you keep appending it, it might just overlap. Uh, so just click it once when you append in the brick material. Actually, it's not supposed to, but there it is. So it will actually append that in again. It's kind of by design, it's whatever. So anyways, you've got the brick texture here. You can do a lot with it procedurally. You can come in. I have the 90 degree angle preset, just like in the tutorial. And I do have also some other things preset, like the attribute that he had. All right, so real quick, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to jump into Edge Select, and it's pretty easy. You just hit Extrude and pick an access, perhaps. And you can unwrap this bad boy pretty much any way you want. Uh, you can unwrap it like that. I think it also works if I hit Control left mouse. <laughs> It works. So you can kind of just play around with this thing, do what you want. It's going to basically unwrap uh, in any direction that you see fit. Now, you do run into a little bit of a snag if you try to extrude it because it may not always follow the pattern, even though it looks like pretty decent here, but it's kind of warped right there. But like I said, this is mainly 2D. You can make a nice facade with it, and that is literally about it. Uh, you can have a bunch of fun with this like I said you can switch between two different materials and have some fun guys appreciate you washing washing watching I hope you watched see you guys in the next tutorial lesson